Well, if you're in need of a laugh this morning, you have come to the right place. Lucky us, lucky you. Our next guest isn't just known for his side-splitting comedy, though. No, no, no. In fact, we are dealing with someone who is more than just a triple threat. Look at this astute strapping, gentleman right strapping here. Strapping young man. Wow. His name is Beer Das, and if you're already a follower, his list of accolades may come as no surprise. But for those of you pulling out your phones to Google and Insta-stalking, we have already done the hard You're work. You're welcome. For you. <clears throat> Virdas is a comedian, an actor, a director, mm -hmm. and a musician. The list does not stop there. It goes on and on and on. He is taking the world and the entertainment industry by storm, but we will let his work do the talking. Everybody's got their own problems Dealing with their <laughs> So an Instagram post about how their life should go doesn't help one bit so next year just to be clear don't be a son of a b don't cancel and troll and try to control what other people think i was on the bbc home page big headline that said comedian polarizes the nation do you know how badly you are up before the british say that you divided india <laughs> We're not going to bond. Of course we are. And that way, when you die, I don't have to call your parents because I won't know their names. Well, I'm not going to die. Ever, so. We're spies, Will. Do you know any 60-year-old spies? <laughs> Me neither. But look, I'm sure there are other members of the team, right, who really want to hear about your past and, and stories from that perfect little town you grew up in. I'm, I'm sure it was named something like Caucasian Corners or Waspington. Huntington, Indiana. I okay. That's just barely scratching the surface of this multi-talented superstar. We can't wait to chat with him this morning. Lucky for us, he is here for the first right time here. on New York Living. Please welcome comedian, actor, musician, and just wonderful human being. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Hi, dear. <laughs> He's looking for the Good to see you. Thank you for having me. What that we did we did a whole round robin. Yes, we did. Of yeah. like your greatest hits. Did you enjoy that? I, like I, I did. Uh, <laughs> and you, you you listed off like comedian, actor. I'm also a gaffer and a caterer and a juggler and a bus boy and a bus boy. Every, anything you need. I, I'm, I'm multi A real jack of all yes. trades. DoorDash, whatever you guys. Oh, want. It's, it's fine. DoorDash. Yeah, yeah beer there you go. <laughs> I won't we did, charge we you for that one. Business exactly. plan. Exactly. Uh, is this your first time visiting New York City? No, I come here all the time. Just oh. never in this weather, which mm. is yeah. uh, unprofessional. Uh, it I, is. I, find, I, I, I understand colonization uh, mm -hmm. because of this snow. I, I get why you guys, not you guys, but just people went to mm -hmm. different climates. The, the body politics. Yeah. That's right. I don't think. New York has colonized anything but Jersey, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Uh, it's tried to get rid of Staten Island on more than one occasion. It's yeah. just sin. Yeah. So you have sold out one Carnegie Hall. No yes, easy I have. feat. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a huge deal. Thank you. I'm very excited. The, the nice thing about having uh, 1.4 billion people is ticket sales go all right for any <laughs> people. <laughs> so so, so uh, Carnegie Hall is full. I've waited a really long time to be able to play it, so I'm, I'm honored. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, well, now you you didn't grow up around these parts. You grew up. Uh, you split your time between Nigeria and India, yes. correct? Yes. Uh, what was life like there for you? Um, in one country, I'm the shortest person there, and in one country, I'm kind of the tallest person. There. So, <laughs> so it just depends on where you are. Where are you the shortest person? Because or where are you the tallest person? Because she might move there. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna guess yeah, that in Nigeria. We should go east. Yes, like the more go, east we go, exactly. we're, we're gonna be we're better. Good. We're gonna right? be good. We're gonna start our own NBA. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna colonize yeah. something. Exactly. Remember when the Obamas went to like Japan <laughs> and it changed foreign policy forever? Because everybody was do. just like, what? What do I do? This is what we're gonna do. Yeah, there you go. Let's go to Andorra. No, it's in Spain. It's this big. No one will know the. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Where did you, uh, this love of comedy, this ability to, you're a fast thinker, obviously. Um, you work, it feels like you work every single part of your brain. Where does this come from? Vodka and rejection. <laughs> uh, is, I feel like if enough people who you love, uh, of the same sex, opposite sex, maintain a good radius of, <laughs> of loneliness around you, uh, you begin to introspect quite a bit. Uh, and in my case, that, that radius has gotten wider and wider right. and wider. You, you so, keep repelling people. Yeah, what you're watching is a crisis. That's uh, a talent. It, yeah. A crisis happening in real time. <laughs> wow. There will be a crisis at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> oh, a crisis. That sounds like the name of your new special. <laughs> the crisis you. at Carnegie yeah. Hall. Uh, okay. We understand that, you know, we, all, we mentioned you're the multi-hyphenate. 
the acting started at a young age uh, because you pre you pretended to have appendicitis. I did. <laughs> uh, so I, I was in a, a boarding school. Oh uh, lord! And you know, some kids are meant to be institutionalized and some kids are not. <laughs> right, right. And I went to boarding school too. I feel you your go. pain. Wow, so, you guys have a lot in common. So, <laughs> so I wanted out, and at some point I went into the the infirmary or the, or the hospital, and I was like. Uh, my appendix hurts, and they were like, fine. And then I ate ice cream for like two days, and they were like, does it still hurt? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then I was in an ambulance, uh, and I was taken to a town three hours away, and I was on an operation table. And the doctor was like, does it still hurt? Oh, and I was like, I think so. Uh, and they went in and scalpel. found a, a, a perfect appendix. But, I mean, if you talk about committing to the bit, uh, yes, you... you know, I have follow through, no appendix, but follow through. <laughs> I mean, they were in there, they took it out anyway. They were just like, we're here. We, we might, might as well. well. Might as well. Yeah. Turns out we don't need them. Humans yeah. don't need the appendix. Exactly. And it got me out of boarding school because they were like, we think he should leave. He has. Uh... <laughs> we no longer <laughs> want you here. <laughs> I can't. Not, so, yeah. not I have mono. This, how old were you when this happened? I was 13. <laughs> but, oh my but, God, that's pretty old. But Jeez. isn't that the wonderful thing about this job? Yes. Is that uh, a day like that is still five good minutes when you're an adult? <laughs> you know, you can think about it. That's dedication to the crowd. So you found yourself in the middle of a controversy in 2021. Oh, yes. yes. It's very involved. Uh, you were basically talking about, you were, you were, some said you were insulting <laughs> India. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Yeah. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Mm -hmm. What came out of that experience for well, you? Well, the big controversy was just I wear sweaters that are too fluffy. I think is the, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think I found out truly what it means to be a comedian, which is that you can, you can never predict what you're going to go viral for or what the response is going to be. You just have to make sure you write a damn good joke about it. Oh so my God. I kind of went underground for about five months and <laughs> did some soul searching and, and came up with that joke that you saw in the clip over there and then did a Netflix special about it. And that special won an international Emmy. So we're kind of, it was like, like a nice... Full circle. There you, you go. Know, I'm selling the Emmy. It's on eBay because uh, it's gold plated. And Indians, we do original gold. Only. Thank you. We, you know, oh, so. right, right. Thank you. I hear those things are heavy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Place. Uh, and you also received a letter from your principal. I did. Oh, Not right. my first one. <laughs> Just my first complimentary one. Uh, <laughs> and. Uh, it's kind of nice to have your, your alma mater Look just kind of be like, yeah, there it is. There's the letter. Yeah. And uh, they schools. were like, we're proud of him. He's still stupid. Uh, <laughs> but he we're now is an him, we guess. Yeah. <laughs> so th that, that was a, a nice thing. It was nice to have. We talk about your Netflix special, please, because you made history. You were one of the first, if not the first, Indian to host, Indian comedian to host a comedy special on Netflix. I, I was, yes. Um, it was, uh, it's, like I said, it, it's baffling to me sometimes that I can tell an original Indian story and people across the world are interested in it uh, and not just sort of their palatable version of what India is but something they've never heard before. You know, even like a Carnegie Hall or, or being here, what, what people forget is it's around the corner for you but it's across many universes for someone yes. like me. Right. You know, so the idea that, that Americans would be interested in an Indian guy who grew up in a small town over there is baffling and amazing. So I think Netflix does that for a lot of artists mm -hmm. across the world, you know? That's Cheers. true. I mean, because Cheers it's not like you're that. coming to this country and just doing it anywhere. It's yeah. a small, it's, it's a pretty big joint mm -hmm. that a lot I, of people would kill so. to, I, yeah, I've to, heard. to I've stand heard on the stage. I've heard Carnegie Hall is a big deal. I it's plan to steal the piano okay. uh, is what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I, I don't know. All right. I'm not sure how large it is, but we'll work it out. Yeah. We, know, we know a guy. I have... I have 4,000 people to help me lift there you it. Go. So, so there hopefully you we'll go. Right. Yeah. And, you know, these followers are loyal. They'll do anything right. for you. We will. Uh, we now, we are very interested in hearing your take real quickly on... Um, th there's been a lot of commentary after uh, the, the, Golden, the Globes. Golden Globes and <clears throat> yes. how a comedian hosted. I, I personally think... You, you get what you sign up for. It's a comedian. Yeah. Th they're acting as they are, as, right. as we know them <clears throat> to act. What, yeah. what, is, what, is your, what is your whole thought on... That. I think they should do it. I do think it's a tough room because as, as the night progresses, everybody in that room gets more and more pissed off, right? Because you, you have to consider that at the end of the night, 85% of this room our has losers. lost an They're award. Right. Uh, and, and are used to being complimented every second of their life. This but is very true. My thing is, if you're going to do it, go, with joke one, go big, go hard, go for the 
the biggest person in the room and make sure it's a damn good joke. Right. So if they laugh, everybody else will laugh. And uh, if they don't laugh, everybody will be happy because the big dog is unhappy. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I would just say, go big, go hard. I think we found our, our next award show That's host. That's right. So if you were asked to host an award show. I would make sure I get deported at the end of the <laughs> award. I would go that hard. <laughs> we'd do it, yeah. Beard us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also, the hair, the fit. Thank you, the, the, Thank you so it's much. It's a perfect GQ quaff. model. I mean, come on. It is on a perfect quaff. Business. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh, my God. What a pleasure.